Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've received many, many requests to cover SpaceX and I know that they have a launch coming up in March. So I thought for today's video, we could discuss a little bit about what SpaceX has been up to and also why this launch in March is going to be groundbreaking, literally. Now, as I'm sure you all know, SpaceX is an American company founded by Elon Musk in 2002 and headquartered in Hawthorne, California, which is actually not too far from me. And it has been a serious player in the business of space travel over these last 20 years. It was the first private company to launch, orbit, and retrieve a spacecraft, the first to reuse an orbital rocket booster, and the first private company to send a spacecraft to the International Space Station. It has manufactured launch vehicles, spacecrafts, rockets, such as Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon, and the latest member of the band is Starship. Different Starship. Starship is a fully reusable launch vehicle that supposedly has twice the thrust of the original Saturn V rocket. This makes it the most powerful launch vehicle ever built, and at 394 feet, it is also the tallest. It is 30 feet taller than the SLS rocket, which I discussed in a previous video. And if you remember in that video, I said that the SLS rocket produces 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust. Starship is supposed to produce 17 million pounds of thrust. This means that it can take off with a payload of 250 metric tons, which when I did a little Googling is basically equal to over half a million pounds. Now, it gets that tremendous boost because Starship is equipped with 33 Raptor engines, which burn a combination of liquid oxygen and methane, called methylox. And this is different from the SLS rockets, which burn oxygen and hydrogen. Each of the 10-foot-tall engines generate about 500 pounds of thrust. And like most SpaceX systems, Starship is meant to be reusable. This has been an important hallmark for SpaceX, as Musk has said that reusable rockets are the future of space travel, allowing companies to cut down on costs and time with every launch. But it's not been without its problems. In 2021, a prototype for Starship blasted off in Texas, flew about 10 kilometers, and then rotated and came down super hard, blowing up into a tremendous fireball. In fact, four Starship prototypes have burst into flames, either before or shortly after landing. Here's coverage of the Booster 7 test when an unexpected explosion happened. And SpaceX has had some other spectacular fails, including the 2019 explosion of the Crew Dragon capsule. Now, no astronauts were aboard during any of these tests, and obviously it goes without saying that you are going to have some fails when you are in the business of space travel, especially when you've only been doing it for 20 years. However, they did eventually figure out the takeoff and landing of Starship without blowing anything up, and on February 9th of this year, SpaceX did a static test of the Raptor engines. Now, while only 31 of the 33 engines did fully ignite, the SpaceX team actually switched one Raptor engine off just before ignition, and another turned itself off. And Elon did tweet that 31 engines would be enough to get Starship into space. However, they will be doing some remaining testing in anticipation for Starship's launch. And this being one of the most ambitious vehicles ever built by SpaceX, Elon has a lot of plans for it. The goal is for Starship to be a workhorse vehicle that will essentially be transporting humans to and from the Moon and Mars. NASA awarded SpaceX a $3 billion contract in 2021 to develop a commercial launcher that could carry humans into space. NASA expects the launcher to be used on two upcoming Artemis missions to the Moon. There's also been talk of using Starship to transport people from one part of the planet to the other. Elon said in an interview that it could make the trip from LA to New York in 25 minutes, but most people question the practicality of this and have likened the experience of, of being on that trip to riding the Vomit Comet, if you guys know what that is. Um, so yeah, I'm not quite so sure about that. I, uh, I prefer my arrivals to New York, 
not horrendously nauseous, but you know, maybe that's just me. But regardless of Elon's other plans, Starship is groundbreaking because it will be the tallest and most powerful launch vehicle ever built, and the first capable of total reusability. And when we think about the financial sustainability of space travel, especially as a lot of this is moving over to the private sector, this could definitely be a game changer, just as long as nothing blows up. Which it won't, because I am a positive person. And I believe in you. <laughs> I believe in you, Starship. You can do it. And I will definitely be there watching when you do. Now, as of this recording, they don't seem to have a specific date for the launch of Starship. I've seen March 11th, March 12th, and March 18th. So I went and looked on SpaceX's website, but I didn't see a launch date there either. So this is just something I will have to keep an eye on because, I don't know. Maybe we can watch this one together too. Okay, that's it for the video. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I just get this like Wild West vibe from SpaceX. I, I like what they're doing and I like how they're pushing boundaries. It just seems like a lot of explosions. And I just, I feel like NASA is like the wise old father and SpaceX is like the very young son being like, come on, dad, nobody does it like that anymore. You're boring. and. I don't know. I don't know what that makes Blue Origin. Hmm. What does that make Blue Origin? <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video.